Y'all came back and look what we got. Sorrel pineapple ginger. Look at that beautiful color. This is daddy's house. And we got the first bottling process done. Come back with me, check it. Welcome to daddy's being brew. Okay, you wanna wash all your glass with it thoroughly. You wanna wash them in a one quarter bleach solution. Chlorine bleach should do fine. Wash them, make sure all the bleach rinses off of your glass. Surfaces should no longer feel slimy or slick. You should no longer smell bleach on your glass. The bleach is just to make sure that all the extra yeast and any bad bacteria, any bacteria actually, that sticks or clings to your glass is dead on arrival. As you can see inside my bottles, I have some nice little carbonation drops. Now this is typically used for beer and all it is is a nice little sugar tablet, <coughs> which actually, <coughs> pardon me, ignites uh, any leftover yeast in the mixture and gets it to continue to make the small reactions and just continues the chemical reaction of fermentation as you continue to bottle in your time. Just small reactions to get the bubbles in uh, your beer. This here is our mixture. You see the bubblers? No longer active, no real activity on, on any of the bubblers, but you can see in this one, there's still some activity here at the head. That's still that gas transpiring. Same thing back here, still a gas coming up <coughs> here. We're gonna start our bottling process. You see the yeast down at the bottom here. That's all that dead yeast, so it's still alive, but it's just dormant. It's not active anymore, because there's no longer any sugar for it to feed off of. We have a nice metal stainless steel chef grade funnel. Small filter inside. We're gonna start with the bottling process. We're gonna start with this bottle, and I think we might start with the soil here. Okay, here we're gonna start with our nice sorrel. Still has that beautiful color. Still, still producing some gas. We're gonna let that continue in the bottling process. Um, here's the turmeric, pineapple ginger. You see it's clearing. It's a little more dense at the bottom. And of course, we have the big pineapple ginger in the back. We're gonna start bottling with our sorrel. I have some nice glass bottles that I came across. Like I said, got two sugar tablets in the bottom. I'm gonna remove our bubbler here. Push it to the side. And this little device, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. It's remarkable. It's a nice pump. And it's just gonna shoot our solution. Just use the air pressure to pump this alcohol to pump this liquid through. You want to stay away from the bottom because that's where all the yeast is. So you just go in as little as you can. Stay away from the yeast because we're trying to filter away this 
much yeast as possible in this first bottling process. This is just the first one, it's not the last one. We're not ready. We might taste this, but this isn't ready. It has a nice head on it, so that means it's going to be really nice. Okay, so we're going to stop about there, leave a little space. trying to skim the bottom of these bottles and the closer you get to the bottom the more the stuff you're gonna have in your bottom in your brew okay so just stay clear greed be happy with what you come out with and I'll be right back to show you these lovely bottles okay so in this first cut of our pineapple ginger, big pineapple. This is what we came up with, okay? We came up with these two bottles going in to the next process. No remnant there, we're gonna let that go. <laughs> I'm satisfied with these two bottles. And this is the pineapple turmeric ginger. Here we have our pineapple ginger which looks exquisite. I love that color. We got a nice few bottles here. And this is our remnants. Again, I'm satisfied with that. I'll take that. Here, we got two bottles here of the pineapple sorrel. I could have got another a little bit, but I ain't tripping. Greed is the enemy. This is actually pure pineapple sorrel. And this is a little bit of that pineapple ginger mixed in with the soil. So this is what we have so far bottled up. They actually look great to be. They actually look great. We're gonna put them back in the chamber, let them cook a little more, and we'll be right back with you. Here's the bottles. Okay, okay, this is the beautiful fruit of our labor. This is that pineapple ginger. It's, uh, it's done the first process of fermentation. Um, we took it out of the bottles. We put it in these nice bottles that I had after they, we sterilized them. And we're just gonna keep them in here for a few more weeks. It's gonna get a lot smoother. Look at the color on that sorrel. Look at that. Look at the color on that. Look how beautiful that is. As you can see, the liquid is actually getting uh, less dense. It's a little easier to see through it. That means that all of the stuff that goes into this stuff is breaking down and start to separate from the liquid. And that's what we're looking for. We wanna keep that nice, beautiful color. It'll just get a little more cleaner, a little clearer. This is that pineapple turmeric ginger. That is such a beautiful color in the light. It's a wonderful thing. We uh, sterilized our glass earlier today with a part bleach solution and mostly hot water. Uh, sterilized everything thoroughly. Um, and we just started bottling up. Uh, these, like I said, I'll put them in a nice warm, dark location where they won't be bothered for a few more weeks. Maybe a few days out from here, I'll go and I'll come and burp one of them, or burp them to see if I can get a reaction. And that just means cracking it and then closing it back again to release any of the gas that might be trapped up in here. You don't want your bottles to break, okay? And that's the process until next time. Next time we pull these joints out, we doing a taste test. We gonna see what we really working with. 
I appreciate y'all coming out. I appreciate y'all checking out on this beautiful pineapple ginger. This is Daddy's House, beer and brew. And this is that beautiful pineapple ginger that we made. Um, we're just gonna sit it aside. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for checking up on our pineapple ginger. Until the next time, remember, Sunshine Films, like, comment, subscribe, comment again, like again, subscribe twice, tell your friends, share, be with us, join us, join the family, okay? Have a nice one, y'all be safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, we love you, have a nice one.